they do a really good job at the very start of the show of explaining mm-hmm. how this could happen. Yeah. So we've just come through a pandemic. So the epidemiologists have been doing all of this for a micro. What exactly is a fungus and how does it take over hosts? Okay. So um, a fungus is a microbe, a very simple microbe. Um, it can grow in the soil. It can grow in food and contaminate food and so on. The, the show depicts one particular type of fungus called a cordyceps, which in the tropics attacks insects, grows in their bodies, takes over their brains and eventually changes their behaviour and bursts out of their bodies. Now, the idea in the show is that this fungus has undergone a mutation, that it can attack humans, grows in humans, develops, begins to change their behaviour and then eventually bursts out of their bodies, out of their brains. Now, we know what this group of fungi do in insects, for sure. Could that happen in humans? Extremely unlikely. So we're safe from that, I think. You think so? That's incredible. So it actually does take and and bursts out. Out of the insect. Is there something about the way it communicates? It's like a complicated way it communicates as well. Exactly, indeed. When the fungus infects the insect, it doesn't want to kill the insect outright because if the insect died on the ground, its spores wouldn't spread in the environment. So it keeps the insect alive and then it manipulates its brain and makes it want to climb up a twig or a stem or some high structure and then it locks it into place. So the insect then will never move again. The fungus grows inside and eventually bursts out. So it manipulates it for its own end, to reproduce. Because then the spores go out and it can infect other insects exactly, that are lower lying. indeed, yeah. So it's a zombie insect. There's, exactly. It has been taken over. It Exactly, it has. The show posits, it, it, it mm-hmm. puts forward this explanation that because if the world got warmer, yeah. that the fungi would then evolute in it from an evolutionary mm-hmm. sense, they would change and they could look for warmer hosts, such as ourselves. Right. So yeah. it brings back to climate change. Exactly. It, could, could it, could it um, Like we're, the, earth, the yes, earth is warming yes, up, warming up. Yes and no. Uh, would this fungus be able to cause the types of uh, conditions we see in the show in humans? No, because we have a very much more developed immune system compared to an insect. Our immune systems would catch this and kill it quite rapidly. However, we do know that in the last less than 10 years, new fungal pathogens have appeared that we never saw before. And one in particular is a yeast, and it was first seen in intensive care units on five different continents within a six month period. Never seen as a pathogen in humans before. And then in 2016, almost simultaneously in these five different locations. And we know that the one thing about it is it needs a higher temperature to become pathogen. So we've seen an example where a new pathogen has emerged in humans and is now a major problem in hospitals. So yes and no, the the temperature is going to increase the incidence of fungi becoming pathogens. That's fascinating. Yeah. it, like you're a microbi- microbiologist, shows like this and with co- like science, <clears throat> yeah, like it's it's amazing for mm. people actually to to for young people who kind of want to get an interest in this as well. And, to, and certainly here in some of the things that you're coming out with, it's fascinating. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, now, the show certainly presents a very interesting, you know, possibility. Yeah. Not a definitive, but a possibility. Yeah. Um, on the other hand, we know fungi do so much for us. Positive like, things. Positive things, okay. like they're making alcohol in beer, they're making uh, bread. You know, the pizza dough is made by yeasts. Yeast. You saw the pizza dough rise. Um, so they the make yeast, antibiotics. It's a fungi, is it's it? It's a fungi, exactly. Okay. And it makes the dough rise. They make uh, antibiotics. They do so many beneficial things for us. Yeah. Uh, if you think of all the leaves that fell off the trees in the autumn, they're all gone because fungi have broken them down and then the new trees, new yeah. leaves will grow and they will recycle. So they're, they're very good. There's a small group that are bad, but most are very good. Which is, yeah, it, it, they make the world turn. They're so important, like exactly. the bees. But also when you mentioned that new pathogen that showed up in five different continents yeah. and people were in intensive care units. Yes, yeah. Did, 
are they better? Like, did they find what was wrong with them? Did they neutralise the fungi? Uh, no, no. It's now one of the major um, pathogens in intensive care units. And the, the, the mystery is, where did this come from? Yeah. So we previously knew that this yeast, which is called, its name is Candida auris, because auris refers to the ear. Yeah. It was first found causing ear infections in intensive care units, which fungi generally don't do. So it was an unusual presentation. We now know that uh, before in humans, it was seen in wild birds. Wow. So somewhere Jump. it jumped from flu. wild birds it's, into it's, humans and the higher it, temperatures have allowed that to happen. It's just fascinating it's stuff. So um, listen, Kevin Kavanagh, thank you so much, of course, from the uh, uh, Maynooth University. Thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. For coming Thanks, in. Thank That's you. It's blown my mind.